Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. I am Monica for those of you that are new here and today we are making a barbecue sauce. We are going to be using more of those plums that I have been working through this week and making a delicious sweet and spicy plum based barbecue sauce. So I hope you stick around because this is going to be delicious. Okay, so to start the plum barbecue sauce, I have that we're going to set aside, it is eight pounds. They were just cored plums, and I just kind of rough chopped them. So these are going to wait. We're going to deal with them in just a minute, but it is eight pounds. In a heavy bottom large stock pot, because it's going to make a lot of barbecue sauce, I have one and a half cups of finely chopped onion, and then I have a quarter cup of hot pepper. So this is a mix of serrano with one habanero that had been seeded and I have all that finely chopped as well. Let's go ahead and put your onion and pepper in your pan. To that we are adding four cups of dark brown sugar. Now I make mine a little extra dark but you can also use light brown sugar if you don't want a major molasses flavor but molasses in barbecue sauce is amazing. So four cups packed two cups of regular sugar, two cups of apple cider vinegar, and we may add more, depends on the flavor of these things. Next you want four tablespoons of mustard seed. Two tablespoons of salt. And lastly, a couple tablespoons of some garlic powder. You can also use fresh garlic, but I'm just gonna use this. We're gonna get all of that sugar stirred in and then get this on a medium high heat until it reaches a nice gentle boil. All right, so all the sugar is dissolved. And we have this up to a boil, so now we are going to add in all of our plums. So we are going to get all this stirred in and let it just stay at a gentle boil. You don't want a rolling boil, just a gentle boil until everything starts to really just break down, get real nice and sticky and gooey. And that's when we know our barbecue sauce is ready for taste testing and then getting this canned up for our pantry. All right, so here's the consistency. This is cooked. Honestly, it's been going at a nice simmer for a couple hours. So you can see everything has really broken down. The flavor is phenomenal it's like a sweet heat barbecue sauce it is so good so now this is going to get water bath canned for 20 minutes and we're going to be doing it in pints you can do pints or lower for this particular recipe and you want to get it to a half inch headspace Right, so we ended up getting almost seven pints. This was the almost full pint, so this just went into the fridge, but that's fine because we get to show you and taste test texture and taste. So it is a very nice, thick sauce. Okay, so here is 
the texture and this is without pureeing it so it's just and this also this one didn't get water bath canned and you can still see even though we didn't puree it almost just oh it's gorgeous and the taste mm, it's like it's the perfect sweet and spicy uh, and my husband thinks the same way so he was saying whenever he tried it it's to him it's perfectly in the middle to where if we open up a jar and we need something like really spicy we can doctor it to a really spicy and if we wanted something more like a bourbon barbecue type thing we could add more sweetener and make it sweeter like right now it is the perfect mixture of the sweet and the spice so I hope that helps with the uh, taste and then I mean you can see how thick it is just and that's without pureeing so of course it would be smoother if you pureed it but I am not worried about that it is so good I almost want to use the rest of my plums to make more of this but I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you try it out for yourself let me know how you like it, and I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching.